Barry Chase is a talented actress known for her roles in classic films. She brought unique charm and skill to each performance, making her a memorable figure in the film industry. Think back to the first time you saw Barry Chase on screen. What movie was it and what stood out to you about her performance? Many admire her for her ability to connect with the audience and her lasting presence on screen. What qualities do you believe make her a timeless icon in film? Share your most treasured memory or personal experience linked to Barry Chase. Your stories and memories are valuable to us, so please share them in the comments. Stay tuned as we have many surprising, amusing, and poignant facts about her life and career to share with you. Barry Chase is known for her work in film and television during the 1950s and 1960s. Her filmography includes roles in movies like It's a Mad, 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 Mad World and The Flight of the Phoenix. For those new to her work, Cape Fear and Silk Stockings are essential movies to watch. These films showcase her talent and provide a glimpse into her range as an actress. They are representative of her career and are recommended for anyone looking to explore her contributions to cinema. Barry Chase started her career as a dancer under the guidance of Jack Cole, known for his influential work in dance choreography. Her skills led her to assist Cole in choreographing two major MGM films, Less Girls and Designing Woman, both released in 1957. Years later, her longevity in the industry is marked by being the last living cast member from the classic films It's a Mad, 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 Mad World and The Flight of the Phoenix as of January 2022. In the former, she played Sylvester's girlfriend, and a notable scene shows a theater marquee for the film Cape Fear, which also featured Chase during a thrilling car chase sequence. Barry Chase brought life to the character of Sylvester's girlfriend in It's a Mad, 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 Mad World, where her dance moves captivated audiences. Although the soundtrack featured You Satisfy My Soul by the Shirels, the film itself did not include this number. However, an extended version reveals a scene where Dick Sean and Barry Chase dance to the tune, humorously neglecting a ringing telephone. In The Flight of the Phoenix, Barry Chase portrayed Farda, a figment of Sergeant Watson's imagination, seen in a desert mirage. As of early 2023, she stands as the last surviving cast member from the film at the age of 89, following the passing of Hardy Krueger in the previous year. Her enduring presence also marks her as the sole surviving member of the full cast of It's a Mad, 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 Mad World after the death of Nicholas Georgiade in late 2021, with Mickey Rooney having passed away earlier in 2014. Barry Chase first graced the stage as a dancer in the film Minuet and Scaramouch, marking her entry into the acting world. Her talent soon took her to the bright lights of Las Vegas, where she premiered her own show at the Sahara Hotel's Congo Room in April 1963. The show was a blend of Hermes Pan's choreography and Jean Louis costume design, sharing the bill with Vaughn Meter. Chase's career continued to rise as she landed the role of Sylvester's girlfriend in the comedy It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. For this part, she sought advice from her friend Steve McQueen, who suggested that her character, listed as Mistress Halliburton, and Dick Sean's character should appear as if they were under the influence, leading to a memorable dance sequence in the film. Barry Chase faced a challenge when returning to dance for the film. It's a mad, 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 mad world. After a break from dancing, she had gained weight and was uneasy about wearing a bikini for her role. She picked a black fringe bikini, hoping the fringe would draw attention away from her figure and the top would allow her to adjust her appearance to feel more confident on screen. In Cape Fear, she took on the role of Diane Taylor after previously playing a light-hearted character, Doris Lentz in White Christmas. Off screen, she shares a family connection with the entertainment industry as the younger sister of Frank Chase. Barry Chase's role as Farda in The Flight of the Phoenix stands out as a memorable performance. Following the passing of Hardy Kruger, she remains the sole surviving cast member from this classic film. In It's a Mad, 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 Mad World, she portrayed Sylvester's girlfriend, Mistress Halliburton, a character whose quirky charm was never directly named on screen, but confirmed through the film's official materials. Her casting story is as unique as her performances. While in Sweden, she received a call that would lead her back to the United States for a meeting with Stanley Kramer. Without an audition, the role was hers, thanks to Kramer's wife's recommendation. The challenge of portraying Mistress Halliburton led to an unexpected acting choice. With advice from Steve McQueen, she decided to play the character as if she were under the influence, a decision that added a distinctive touch to her performance and helped her maintain composure alongside the energetic Dick Sean. 
His creative choice marked a first in comedy films of that era and contributed to the character's distinct presence on screen. Barry Chase stepped away from the spotlight for over five decades, with no film or television appearances from 1967 until her return in the 2020 movie Leave Him Laughing. Her earlier career included a memorable guest appearance as the lead in the Bonanza episode The Ballerina in 1965, a script penned by her brother Frank Chase. Following her fourth television special with dance legend Fred Astaire in 1968, Chase chose family life over fame, dedicating herself to her husband, Richard Kaufman, and their son. The family later embraced a simpler lifestyle, relocating to Venice, California, and sharing a passion for cycling, which led them on an extensive nine-month European cycling adventure. Barry Chase's career took an interesting turn after her performance in An Evening with Fred Astaire. Despite offers from all major networks for her own special and multiple invitations from Ed Sullivan, she chose not to pursue these opportunities. Instead, she embraced the chance to travel to Europe, where she appeared on television across Sweden, France, Germany, and Italy. These experiences, unseen by her American audience, enriched her life personally rather than professionally. As the daughter of writer Borden Chase, Barry had a connection to the creative arts from the start. Her role as Farda in The Flight of the Phoenix showcased her acting skills, and she stood firm in her decision not to perform topless, as requested by the film's director, Robert Aldrich. This choice reflected her personal principles and professional boundaries. Barry Chase's career in film is a journey through classic Hollywood moments. She graced the screen as Sylvester's girlfriend in the comedy epic, It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. With the passing of fellow actors, she remains the sole surviving member of the cast. Her talent was evident early on, as she was initially chosen for the role of Claudine and Kim Ken, a part that brought fame to Gwen Verdon on Broadway. Yet, when her dance scenes were reassigned to Shirley MacLaine, Chase made the bold decision to leave 20th Century Fox, seeking opportunities that better suited her abilities. Her portrayal of Doris Lentz in White Christmas showcased her comedic timing, a skill that later paired her with the legendary Fred Astaire on television. Despite many uncredited roles, her performances, including as Torchy Laru in Mardi Gras and her unforgettable dance in It's a Mad, 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 Mad World, have left a lasting impression on audiences and the industry alike. Barry Chase became known for her work with Fred Astaire, performing as his dance partner in several of his highly acclaimed television specials. Her skill and grace complemented Astaire's, and together they delivered performances that were both technically proficient and visually appealing. Their collaboration is remembered as a highlight of television dance entertainment. Chase's contributions to these specials helped to showcase the continued relevance and excitement of dance on the small screen, bringing the art form to a wide audience. Her partnership with Astaire stands as a notable aspect of her career, reflecting her talent and dedication to her craft. Barry Chase, known for her work with Fred Astaire and her appearances in several classic films, faced a personal tragedy when her partner, Jean Shakov, passed away in 1991. Shakov was a well-known hairdresser in Hollywood, and his death deeply affected Chase. Despite this loss, she continued to work and maintain her presence in the entertainment industry. Her resilience in the face of personal loss is a testament to her strength and dedication to her craft.